Okay, one more. Okay, no more of this King's Indian bullshit. Apparently, I just kind of, kind of play it all there. Okay. This is called the. Yeah, this is called the Trent line, named after a terrible chess player. Oh, that's the thing. He goes bishop b4 here. Huh. Okay, let me go a3. Why not? F3. I'm pretend I'm pretending this is a Nimzo Indian. Which it would be if we remove the pawns from C2 and D5. And I have this I have a sneaking suspicion that actually having those pawns on the board is a good thing for him. Go figure. Uh, so if he goes e5, I go d, and then g5, winning, as far as I can see, a pawn. Okay, h4, I gotta prevent g5 anyway. It's probably gonna e go e5 now. Yep, yep. King f2, not particularly scared of any sorts of... Yeah, g5, then I just go hg, and also knight g4 stuff should not work. That's probably a good move. Should I do a bishop d3 maybe? Takes, takes. At the very least, um. Oh, this looks dangerous for him. Bishop f. Also, um, bishop f1, queen c5. Okay. It's not so clear. But here I think I'm just better. So he castles, but now queen d4 and my queen is going to be very, very strong there. Also, I'm threatening bishop b6, f6, e f5, and I'm threatening g5 as well. Now that he goes queen d6, I think g5. Takes, takes, my knight is protecting me on f5, so that's not an issue. And it all looks very, very dubious for him. Rook h1, threatening bishop h7. I don't think there's anything he can do about it. Bishop h7, f5, winning a piece, and good night. Okay. That's that's it. Once again, you can resign with dignity or you can play on like a moron. Should be something better than f e six actually. Knight h five should be good. Eh, I just lack imagination. Now I allow g6. Oh my god. G6, it would have been sort of back in the game. Just terrible. Just terrible. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Thank you.